Why'd you shoot him with an arrow? He was mine. He had apple pie. Welcome back, guys. Today we are playing Skyrim, and we are looking for Brand She's a clue to his past. Uh, I went to Winterhold. Uh, I'm not gonna look around anymore. I literally just spawned in. I really don't want to start any quests there because it's gonna be a minute. Oh, this is the one with the people in it, isn't it? Yep, thought so. Hi, guys. Okay, it's just bandits. If it's just you bandits, I can deal with you. They can't hit you when you're moving side to side. Okay, search you now. Gold. I know I'm supposed to... Brynjolf's wanting me to send him to uh, jail already. But I thought, eh, screw it, I'll talk to him for the first time. I have never done this mission in my life. I've been here before, but I've never done this mission. So I kind of feel like an asshole. <laughs> Jesus, hello! Thank you, Lydia. I thought she was a bad guy, but you know. Lydia, not. It. Okay, oh, healing. Pretty sure there's one more here, right? No? That's all of them? I was supposed to really isn't that protected. Lydia spills journal. Let's read this, actually. That's not. Brandley, I, right? Brandle, I hope this text is for your father's last words find its way to your hands. I served, holy God, it into your hands. I served House Tel Telvani as a wet nurse, right? Nurse during your first months of life. And I wanted to repay your father's kindness. I've done all I can to locate you, but I regret that I will never meet you face to face. Hindraya Olin, 46 second seed Midas, this is the end of all things. Are we about to die this cruel barbed blades of the Argonian invasion force? After surviving the red year struggling too big from ash and the rubble, rubble and burying the thousands of the that, 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 that died, sorry. And this is out of, Ept I don't know how to say that, irony of demise glows bright. Brighter than the massier of summer solstice, solstice we brought. This upon ourselves, the Argonians, and simply answering a rallying cry, in ignited by a millennia of suffrage imposed by my kind. And so here I sit in the crumbling basement of our family home, and while a thousand booted feet echo above me, and the screams of the dying find their way to my ears, so falls House Telvani. But then I look into the eyes of this child, this blessing given to me very year that Varro spouted his fiery death across the land. This is a gift I behold my grass is too much to wish be given the chance to survive and keep our memories alive. This small boy born in the most of the chaos and destruction must carry on, if nothing else, as a reminder, as a reminder of other Dunmer that the Televani were once a proud and noble people. Since the death of my wife, I haven't been able to bring myself to give my son a proper name. It never felt right without her, but my own life reaches its final hours as luxury of time is escapes my embrace. I name him now Brandel, my son of Limbio. L I don't know how to say that. And soul living there to help. Living heir of Hel House Televani. I will wrap him in this. To his birthing swallow and leave his fate to Ario's will. Live with virtue and pride, Sarah. Oh my god! He's the last living heir of House Televani. I don't know if I want him to go to the freaking thing anymore. The jail. He's the last living heir. I know, I don't know much about House Televani, but I've always heard about it. 
Oh my god. I think I've heard this story before. Like, not the whole thing, because it sounds familiar, but I've never done the quest myself. Holy shit, where is he? New around Rifting? Take yes, sir. I found a book that might help you, sir. see that. Yes, yes. This is it. I don't know how you found this, stranger, but you've obviously succeeded where I have failed. Please, let me offer you this key. It unlocks my strong box under my stand in the marketplace. Help yourself to anything inside. Thank you. I really appreciate what you've done for me. I'll never forget it. I've never yeah. seen me all this upset about anything. The city really gets to I presume you're bothering me. a bottle of my genuine farmer blood elixir. Only... Eh, I can sell that. Oh my god. What in the name of oblivion do you want? Okay. Okay, lad. Ready to make some Why are we doing this French sheet? contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. How am I supposed to do all this? Do you want me to hold your hand as well? Yes. You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. I'm ready. Let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone. And what might you need? Hmm? I have Nothing. something amazing to show you that demands your attention. I'm not giving up on the quest, I'm just... Yeah, there we go. Nope, this is in her shop. Or... His. I don't have many lockpicks, do I? Back off. Disrespect for the laws of this land. It is time to face the Jarl's justice. A you got me up there, my bounty. Okay, lad. <clears throat> Ready to make some coin. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something okay, can start now. to show you that demands your attention. Damn it. Come on, come on, come on. Need to hear them. You need to hear this. This way, everyone. Come Over on, here. Friend, all. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence. And it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. <laughs> I just steal his clothes. Uh... Nope. Well, I see that my time is up. Make it quick. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Thank and there you. you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Yeah. Oh, how'd you go? What's been going on? Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad yeah. luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Mm, I can't All right it. then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. 
Okay. How many arrows do I have? Hmm. I could buy some. Where's the... I need to find this place again. Boom. Uh, let's go in here. Orphanage. Honor, Honor Hall. I couldn't read that for some reason on the sign. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, Grelid. Yes, Grelid. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Damn. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, girl. girl. Thank, Thank you for your kindness. Your kindness. kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. What a bitch. Can I talk to you now? No? Okay. Come to get yourself a kid. What are you to lot? You have no, no business way, being in here. Girl ain't gonna like some... Who is Aventus? Aventus Aretino. He was sent to live here after his mother died. He escaped, and... Before he left, he said he was going to do the Black Sacrament. You know, to call the Dark Brotherhood. So they'd come and kill old Gorellid. Word out on the street is that he went home to Winhelm, and people have heard strange chanting coming from his house. He's really doing it. Until next time. Should I just do it here? This is an orphanage, not an inn. Be gone from here. Okay. No. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you'll see. Trust me, everyone here will like it. If not, I have no idea what's wrong with you, bud. I have to go to the right away, don't I? Okay. Uh. Please, please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that where so are you? Bad. There you are. I can't take. Oh, thank. You. Selling fine food. Divine. Here. Bless your kind heart. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Protect yourself, right? Buy armor from Grell. No, there we go. Oh, right away. Beautiful bubbles and green gemstone. I don't know, Trough. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. This far, we're living in a sewer. You said we'd have a house as big as the Blackbriars by now. You worry about bashing people's heads in. I'll worry about the guild, okay? Okay, okay. I'm going to check the entrance to the Ratway. Someone's going fevers. Lydia almost got shot. Come on. Let's help him hit his hand. Wow, we both can't aim. Oh my god, I love when a wall takes up half my shot. Damn, Lydia. Okay, where's the skeever guy? Okay. Yeah, uh, someone just died twice. Because I heard someone yell. Ancient Nord. Air, okay. What did they have? They had bread. Wow. Okay. We can go this way, but... That ruins the experience. I can't go up there. I forgot. Is that a skeever? This just recently died. Oh yeah, I was right here and somebody killed it. 
Oh, no, a low life got killed. Oh, okay. Let me just do this. Oh, I missed. I just wasted all my arrows on that, okay? I think I just got them both back, but, you know. There's another one, I believe. If not, the one that he just killed. Oh, crap. I have too much. Okay. Oh, I have a lot of food. Okay. That makes more sense. Ah, oh, where's the freaking slate? That looks like Pac-Man. What's this? That's just a rag. Okay. Is someone there? Oh, he's using his fists only? But No. There, no. Can you let me get rid of my flames? Uh, why'd you shoot it with an arrow? He was mine. He had apple pie. Ooh. Wait, how much? No, apparel. Now my punches do 25 damage. I know they're in the trap. So people get their head beheaded. I wish they would have like a corpse there. If I remember correctly. There's a man here. Unless that was him. I thought this man was crazy though. Move, Lydia! No? See, that's where this would have taken it. Lydia, I swear to God. I thought for sure. Pickpocketing's easier. Or. Am I missing something? Also, oh, I thought for some reason, when I first was here, I thought that was the well in the middle of Riften, but you'll see where. There's where. Okay, never mind. That was easier than I remember. I remember one time it took forever to shoot the guy with the bow because he just kept going back and forth. And my teammate kept blowing stuff up and it kept hurting me. And the first time I came here, I shot someone thinking this is like the still test, but you know. Are over. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Uh, getting here was easy. Almost got killed. I don't know why I bothered. Uh, getting here was easy. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats, what they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Sounds good. Who Kirava, are they? Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. How do you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. <laughs> Consider it done. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Uh, any tips with Karave? Kirava's stubborn. For Karave? But she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. What Helga, what's Helga Helga story? is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Any help with Percy? He's as pig headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. I'll be here when you're done. Alright. Stay out of trouble or there's gonna be trouble. 
Okay. Um. Is that okay? That's mute. Okay. Go here. Go here. Do 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 do. do. Okay, so destroy the urn, talk about family, and what the hell is the other one? Oh, oh, the vine, tell her about her god. Or bring something up about it, I don't know. I remember the urn, but I just wanted to get the information so you wouldn't be like, why the hell did he just do that? Here's the friendship, a gift. If you don't like it, too bad. The gods, it's oh, true, thank you. It? Dragon has attacked Whiterun. Uh, Dragon did not attack Whiterun, it attacked a watchtower, but it sounds better that way. Hey, bud. You in town, eh? What Here do you want? Fishing, uh. <laughs> uh, some sense. Yeah, you might want to talk some sense into Karava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing. She's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Uh, then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. How did you meet I Karava? met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. Aww. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I could finish those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. See, this is the kind of people I like in real life. Me, I have other things to attend to. Like they can be a jerk, but Sorry, like I'm only when you need I to. I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. You caught me at a bad time. May I ask no, you why you're mourning? It was my sister, Lilia. She served as a battle maiden with the Stormcloaks. We recently heard she'd been killed. I I find it difficult to talk about. Perhaps you'd be better off speaking to my parents about it. Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Black Briar Meadery keeps me busy. Helps me keep my mind off of things. You're involved with the meadery? Yes, actually. I'm partnered with Maven Black Briar. I put up a chunk of the gold she needed to get the place off the ground. We've been staggeringly successful so far. In fact, I'm almost surprised how quickly she's generated business for us. My name may not be on the label, but some of my blood, sweat, and tears are in every drop. Uh, figuratively, of course. <laughs> Tell me about your parents. My father was a Stormcloak soldier in his younger days. Now he just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. My mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine and teaches his ways. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. Are there any... Are you at odds with them? Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family values. They're still my parents, and I love them dearly. I just think they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with this war. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. I think Ulfric cares about Ulfric. And the rest is a smoke screen. I'd appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. The last thing I want to do is have my parents lose another child. It's See, talking to you. Uh, the reason I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the Imperial, okay? Because, yeah, they wanted my head on his, or they wanted to cut my head off, but that was just because of the one captain, right? If I got that right. And that was on her orders, not the Imperials. They just were like, hey, maybe we should let them go. And they're like, no, 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 we're, we're, we're killing them. It's like, oh, okay. But when they were doing that, 
Uh, well, speaking of which, but the Talos is what the Stormcloaks, uh, that's what they're fighting for, so they can, he's not a god, but he's an amazing warrior, pretty sure he was Dragonborn, but he, they're worshipping, worshipping him as a god, and the Thalmor, which are high elves, I think that that's wrong, which I see why, but they want to get rid of Talos completely, making sure he's not a divine what god. Nothing right now, bud. But they want to talk to him like he's a divine god, or act like he's a divine god. And I agree. Maybe they should like let them, you know, do whatever. Can you guys move? And uh, let them uh, worship whoever they want, of course. Like real life, I really don't care. But freaking what's it called? Uh, Thalmor are wanting the Stormcloaks to win because Stormcloaks aren't that strong right now. They're actually like power-wise, they're weaker. They have to do like hit, uh, gorilla Texas, which is hit and run. And the Imperials are debate or not debating, but making a plan that after they defeat the Stormcloaks, which uh, they want you to bring back. Use a drink. What do you say to some cheap me? But they say uh, they want the Imperials are wanting to defeat the Stormcloaks because they want Talos to be a free religion, but they can't take care of the Thalmor when they're fighting the Stormcloaks because that's too much for them. So they want to defeat the Stormcloaks, and then the Imperials want to um, uh, get ready and prepare and then fight the Thalmor back, because they're in a treaty right now. So that's why I'm going to choose the Imperials, because they're stronger, while the Stormcloaks... Because if Stormcloaks win, they're going to be really weak, and then the Thalmor will take them out, and the Thalmor will take over everyone. I know that's a lot randomly, but you'll Sorry, see what I mean. I'm ready to pay Brynjolf for about your. Show me some coins. Are you ready to pay Brynjolf for what you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit you that farm in Morrowind. How could you possibly know about ways my family means too much to me? Don't hurt them. Pay up, and I'll Very forget well. about it. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. I remember one time I got all their money and I went to the uh, blacksmith and I got a bunch of stuff like I trained with him and then I bought some stuff then I used all the money and I'm like oh I have to oh crap someone's stealing someone's stealing turn back around turn back around I'm gonna help him kill him welcome to Riften home of thieves guild so they have you believe it's all nice. I said, I heard here help someone. Usually they just steal goblets. See, he has his bow out. That's how I know they already killed him. Uh, I don't know where his body is. I've never seen me all this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Well, please don't shut down. Yes, pond prawn. It's actually really catchy. So, can I interest you in anything today? Uh, I have a message from Minyolf. Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. <sighs> so Minyolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple, you don't pay, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. Demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves. We can protect ourselves, Don't trust me. Yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. You want to bet? I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm. I can't pay. I can't. Just pay them, Bercy. No. That urn was priceless. You want me to break anything else? All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just here, take your gold and leave me in peace. I hope you're here for friendlier reasons now. And they'll keep taking and taking. After all, when is it I'm all end? paid up. What do you have me do? Well, she just said, oh my God, what are we going to do when they pay it? Wait, just letting you know. Once we start getting big, uh, you probably won't need to pay us as much. I don't know exactly, but I will be the leader of the Thieves Guild by then, probably. I don't know. I've never. 
I've never finished the Thieves Guild. Crap. I've never thought of that. I've never... It's you. Please, don't hurt me. I have message from Minyol. You You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Okay, that was easy. What's up with you? Come see I'd appreciate it if you'd keep your... For the work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. Oh! Why do you... It's not just the I word, hate her. it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm. Jesus, Jesus. To rub her nose in it. There must be a way. Actually, there is. But I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Sure, I'll help. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgrier, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. Okay. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible for their deaths. Or yours. Wujida, you're worrying me. You look so... well, so sad. I like how, uh... Like, even after playing this game over and over, it's still not new, but, like, unique. Because I never knew I could do that quest for uh, Branchy. I never thought I could ever, like... And it turns out he's the last, uh... He's the last ever... Or he's the last heir of Televani, which is a major... It was, like, one of the three or, like, number one... Uh, houses in uh, dark elf culture or a royal, I guess, whatever. Pretty sure he's a royal then. And one of the Argonians took him in because they felt bad for killing his uh, father, mother, and father, I believe. So that's why I'm thinking, uh, that's why they did it because they felt bad and they're like, they had a kid. Damn, stay out of trouble. Or there's gonna be trouble. Okay. Talk to me again when you've proven yourself. So, your job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Thank Dumping you. bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Do you gold? Oh, po you give him potions. What? What? Extra. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold and wherever that came from, then I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? What is your outfit? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. Is this true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Is that enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Okay. Good for you. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjol first. We could talk later. I'm not talking to it's you. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. What? What is... That's a right away vaults? Oh, that... show you the operation. Okay, go! Then you can ask your questions. I wasn't asking a question. I just walked ahead of you. I remember when this first ever happened. I'm like, oh, whoa, that's... 
wasn't expecting that. Right? Skyrim's an amazing game, and I hope they make another Elder Scrolls soon. People are like 2026, and I'm like, I swear to God. Then the game will be at least, what, 14 years old? Oh, yeah, Mercer, I hate this guy. You'll see why in a few minutes. Or not, maybe not a few minutes, but, you know. I just hit the wall. Oh. <sighs> I'll just beat you there, bud. You seem to be a bit closer to Green York than the rest of us. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Grignol. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. Do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yes, understood. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work, so let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. All right. Daniel will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. I won't. So how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should mm, talk can. with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place. And they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Okay, tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. It makes sense. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. First time I did this, I burned all of their beehives, and I'm like, oh wait, it said three. What should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. I won't. Any more details about Golden, Golden Glow? Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not Riften Guards? Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. How to destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Yeah. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. If Blackbriar's influential client... We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, We'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. 
So how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Oh. Okay. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Oh, I know. Alright, I think that's it for today's episode. If you guys liked the video, hit that like button. You want to see more videos like this, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.